Welcome back to Plan a Cruise Month. In this video, we're gonna talk about the five things that you don't wanna to forget to pack for your cruise. My name is Christina. I'm a traveler, planner, a mom, and the owner of Showcase the World Travel, a modern travel agency dedicated to helping families take a break from the busy. Showcase suggestions. Where I share travel tips and lists of five to help make traveling with kids a little easier. So the first thing that you don't want to forget when you are packing for your cruise is a lanyard. I saw this on all of the cruise lists. I was like, I never wear a lanyard. I can't stand lanyards. lanyards. Like I, I hate having that around my neck, so I'm not going to pack a lanyard. I bought a lanyard when I was on board because I wanted to have my key, my key card and everything accessible without having to carry a purse and leave my purse in a bar or, or whatever. So definitely bring the lanyard, whether you like them or not, <laughs> you should bring one. Um, bring a reusable water bottle. That's great to help you save some trips to the soda fountain, some coffee, tea, you just kind of want a cup. Um, the ones that you get at the fountain are really small, so you want one that's a little bit bigger so that you don't have to keep going back and forth um, when you want some soda or water. Another thing that you want to think about in terms of water and beverages is bringing some bottled water on board. Yes, you can get cups of water for free around the ship, but when you leave in port, I think having that, um, that sealed bottle of water, not just the reusable water bottle is really, really helpful. Um, so you can definitely, you can bring a case of water on board. What's a case of water? $12 for, for, um, 24 or, or something. So you end up saving a ton of money, right? So, um, I, and that way you have that, those bottles of water. So you don't have to go keep refilling your mug. You can use that for soda and coffee. Um, you have your reusable water bottle. Or the other thing that you can use it for is for alcohol. You can bring alcohol on board. Just make sure you check with your cruise line to see what their policy is. Most of them, it's two bottles of wine and a six pack of beer per person. So um, you can bring four bottles of wine and save some money on the alcohol on board. Use that reusable water bottle um, and enjoy your beverages. So another thing that you'd want to pack is magnetic hooks. This kind of I should have put this up with the lanyard, but um, you can hang your lanyard on it near the door. The door, the walls of your stateroom are magnetic, so you can put your itinerary, any confirmations you need, um, anything that you need quickly. I would always put my hat, <laughs> um, and I'd hang my hat on a clip and clip that to the wall. So it just kind of gives you a little bit more space, and you don't have as much junk laying around your cabin. Um, and the last thing I'm going to tell you that you need to pack is a passport. Um, you don't need a passport for a closed loop cruise. A closed loop cruise means it leaves and returns to the United States. You don't need to have one, but you should because it will help you should anything happen. So say you have a medical emergency and you need to stay in port, you can't get home unless you have your passport. So what I typically will do is I will, um, if, you're, if you're feeling a little bit nervous about carrying your passport around, you can carry your passport card. Um, just so you have that form of identification on you to help you get back home or with any problems that you might have. You should always have your passport. I'm going to link um, to a Disney Cruise Line packing list, which will have a lot more things for you to pack. Um, you can print it out. You can make sure you have everything checked off. If you do plan your cruise with Showcase the World Travel, we will send you a care package with a lanyard with a reusable water bottle and the magnetic hooks. Sorry, I'm not including the alcohol and the passport, but you do get some of the things that you need. We also include a whiteboard, a bottle opener, and some other fun things um, that you never knew you needed on your cruise. So book your vacation with Showcase the World Travel. We will help you plan the best cruise and um, make sure you download your packing list below. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope I, you remember to take a break from the busy. Need help planning your next family vacation? Visit us at showcasetheworld.com to request a quote or schedule a free vacation consultation. Want more great travel tips? You'll find those there too.